Hi, welcome to another new video series on Build Your Home Theater. I hope it is going to be an interesting uh, topic for uh, most of us because home theater is something most of the people dream about having one at home, but normally it, it's in the last number in the wish list. The main reason is because so many components are involved in that and because of the decision, because of the choice of the right components, people are confused and hence they end up with some basic system using at home. Okay, let me give a brief introduction about this home theater, what it is. And many of you know what a home theater system is. Okay, in today's session, uh, we are going to talk about the general introduction, why a home theater, okay? Then home theater components and cinema theater, okay? Now, when all this started, home theater, in my opinion, it started almost 25 to 30 years back, yeah? Earlier, people used to just see on a TV and have a pair of speaker, just a stereo audio. That time, the technology was not much. Then, the technology like Dolby, DTS and many things came almost 25 years back. And hence, uh, they wanted to have the similar thing at home. And that's how the home theater system slowly evolved, the technology evolved and the related components started appearing in the market almost 25 years back, okay? But though it has been there for the last 25 years, I see even in uh, main cities, people really don't have a full-fledged home theater system, okay? So this video series is really focused for you people who want to build a home theater right from the scratch. It need not be a single budget of getting everything at a time. You can go in a phased manner one after the other, but little bit of planning is required. So this video series, I hope it will help you in making your choices and decision in choosing the right type of components so that over the time, over a period of one year or two year or even a period of three months, you can make a complete home theater system so that you can enjoy at home. Okay, now before I talk about home theater, I'm going to start with this. Uh, uh, some of you must have uh, read this book uh, by Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, right? So in one of the chapter, he talks about begin with the end in mind, begin with the end in mind, okay? Begin with the end in mind means before you take any steps, decide what is your final destination is going to be, how it is going to be. So the same approach I'm going to use for this home theater uh, system in terms of choosing the components and all that, okay? Same way, begin with the end in mind is, end is cinema theater, okay? How you want to emulate the same effect in your house, okay? So let's start with the cinema theater. Now, many of you had been watching movies going to a cinema theater, right? Now you have a big screen here, okay? We have all the seats here, right? Sometimes we have balcony and people are seated here, right? Okay, now how the sound? First is, we are talking about the screen, okay? There is a big screen. The main attraction in a cinema theater is a big screen. So it's a, earlier you, people used to have 70 mm screen. Now they call it a 16 is to 9 format and all that. Okay. And this is 70 mm screen. Then there is a big projector behind which puts a video onto the screen. Now coming to the audio part. In a cinema theater, okay, there are speakers behind the screen. Actually, this screen, the cinema screen is acoustically perforated screen, which means acoustically when the sound is from uh, behind, it doesn't block the sound. So it allows the sound to pass through. So it's an acoustically uh, made screen. Actually, the big speakers are kept behind, which most of you would not have observed 
the speakers behind that okay now we have a left speaker we have a right speaker we have a center speaker right then we have surround speakers distributed here so because we are not just two or three people there are 100 seater theater or uh, 200 seater depending on that the number of surround speakers are kept okay surround is for the surround effect now this people used to call it as okay now this one is surround surround this also is surround okay we call this a surround right and surround left okay now there is another component which is called subwoofer okay okay which is sub which is subwoofer now these five speakers goes behind the screen which when we go to a cinema theater we don't see such speakers the speakers only speaker that you see is are these surround speakers so basically if you see we have in terms of channel we call audio channels audio channels we have left the first one then you have right then you have center then you have surround left fifth you have surround right and sixth is the subwoofer okay what is a subwoofer subwoofer gives a low frequency okay uh, a low frequency which is less than 100 hertz it gives very good effects okay so basically we call this as 5.1 okay this is how initially the cinema evolved this i would uh, date it back almost uh, uh, 30 years 40 years or so okay this concept was there in a cinema theater okay now this was brought down into a home theater okay people initially when the home theater came it was a 5.1 okay 5.1 format okay we call uh, we used to uh, call that as a dolby okay dolby laboratories uh, came up with a format and the standard for the cinema song okay then there was dts digital theater system which was another format from a different company which made us uh, which they evolved with a standard there are a few other standards which uh, evolved during that time and still being used in the market at different places but basically it boils down to same 5.1 channel okay now this is what the cinema theater looks like and some of you must be knowing and some of you if you have not known this is how it was okay now coming to home theater okay how the home theater in a house can look like okay now we are going to talk about how you are going to build your home theater see because there are a lot of components involved now before that you should ask yourself why do i need a home theater is it really required so because in the present uh, trend people are mostly glued with the mobile phone itself they keep watching the movie everything most of the time on the mobile okay nowadays even short films are coming which they watch on the facebook and all that but remember that most of the hollywood and some of the uh, bollywood and many of the hollywood tollywood movies which are really made with big budgets really comes with excellent sound effects and video effects so this can really be enjoyed only if you have a home theater okay why home theater ask yourself because home theater is a place where you can get together as a family sit together and watch a movie a common movie otherwise with this present generation p each one of us are busy with their own mobile phone and this is one way where you all can get together on a weekend to watch your home theater a good movie and not only that there are a lot of technology that is available like netflix and all that and most of the movies 99 percent of the movies that comes in many of the digital platforms are nowadays coming with 5.1 or 7.2 dolby atmos type of sound effects and excellent video effect like high definition or 4k okay so these are available and you can really build your home theater and really enjoy with your family not only with family with your friends you get together and sit together and watch okay so coming to the home theater components 
what are the things that are required to build a home theater okay let us start with the room okay first you need a room okay you can have a dedicated room for a home theater just exclusively to build your home theater system or if a space is a constraint then you can use your living room as your home theater room okay now second what is required is a proper acoustics now acoustics is also a very important component that gives the right type of sound effects inside the room okay I'm going to tell about the importance of uh, the acoustics for a home theater in the subsequent series and you can also check our uh, other uh, video series which is why acoustics on the type of acoustics that are required for interior acoustics okay then you need a proper electrical system in place so that you can build the home theater system in the right way okay which consists of wiring and sockets right wiring and sockets so because we don't want a home theater system with a lot of mess of wires going around and mostly uh, in a home the wife uh, will be very irritated with so many cables running around here and there right so we need to ensure that most of the cables are concealed so a proper electrical or system should be there in place then a proper lighting system okay lighting system a proper lighting system is a good LED nowadays uh, you get a lot of LED lights colorful ones okay this also will help to make the decor of your home theater room more elegant okay now the main thing in a cinema you see is a big screen okay same way here for your home theater either you can go for a big LED TV or you can go for a projection screen okay you can have a big projection screen then you need a projector right if you are using a projection screen then you need a proper projector with the right type of specification depending on the budget what you want to have all that okay then you need a AV receiver AV receiver okay this is a component which is going to produce the uh, combine all the different sources the video sources as well as give the final sound output to all the speakers inside the room okay AV receiver then you need AV sources okay AV sources I would mean like a set top box okay set top box or you need or a blu-ray player okay any type of sources okay or it can be even a HDMI connection where you need to connect the laptop okay those are uh, those type of sources then you need home theater speakers okay home theater speakers whether you want to go for 5.1 or 7.2 okay these are home theater speaker which is required for getting the right type of sound okay then you need to have a proper uh, decor inside the room okay for which you can engage an interior decorator or an architect depending on your house and budget or you can just do your basic uh, decor okay a decor also becomes an important part so that you make the proper layout of each and everything goes to the right place okay uh, so I think uh, I've covered most of the points that is required which serves as a component for a home theater and second and uh, last are some of the accessories okay accessories that are required depending on what is your final outcome of a home theater accessories I would say like for uh, for example uh, for a projector you may require a mounting bracket okay or sometimes you will you will need a wall socket right wall socket to connect different sources for example you want to connect your uh, a laptop okay 
from uh, from the seat directly to the screen then those type of thing then other electronic equipments other electronics these are like like a distribution amplifier switcher See, these are some additional components which may be required if you are building a bit of a sophisticated home theater okay so these are big list right <laughs> so don't get alarmed with uh, quite a big list you can take one at a time okay uh, in the subsequent video series i'm going to talk about each one of it in detail to an extent of you choosing the right type of components okay once you uh, know the right things to choose then you can build your home theater okay uh, i hope you enjoyed was watching this first part of this video series uh, in the subsequent video series we are going to talk a lot about the different component the right type of choice you have to make and effortlessly you can build your home theater system right if you have any questions please do ask uh, in the below uh, notes and if you like this video please click thumbs up and do not hesitate to share this video with your friends who is also looking for uh, the knowledge of building a home theater system and do subscribe thanks for watching